Hello, my name is Tiago Costa and I'm going to present you SmoothMV, seamless content adaptation through ad tracking analysis and view prediction. I will start this presentation by introducing the motivations behind our work and discuss some open topics on this field. Then I will present you our work on SmoothMV, our baseline architecture, how can we understand the user behavior and translate into actual view perspective selections? And uh, what is the real-time view switching procedure that was used within the system? Some experimental results will be presented further ahead and also will introduce the future work that is planned for SmoothMV. Ever since its creation, multimedia streaming has constantly evolved and presented us with numerous challenges um, and also some recent advancements in both network protocols, computing capabilities and content management in order to obtain that elusive uh, optimal quality of experience to be provided to the users. And quality of experience can be defined as the degree of uh, satisfaction from the user towards the service, which can be influenced by outside parameters such as content, uh, network, uh, the device where the service is consumed, um, and also the expectations and goals set by the user uh, regarding that service. So we have to deliver the right content to the user, taking into account its own conditions in order to obtain the optimal quality of experience. If, and if we ask the, the recent uh, stakeholders from the stream, uh, streaming industry, uh, they have identified the low latency and bandwidth usage as the, their most relevant concerns uh, currently. So further research is required in both of these topics in order to increase the quality of experience that is provided to the users. While well, most of us would expect minor latency when dealing with streaming sessions, especially when we are dealing with interactive streaming sessions, uh, the fact is that uh, the actual concept of latency greatly differs between each individual. Uh, for example, within Bitmovin's 2020 video developer report, uh, even within the control group of video developers, uh, more than half of those individuals consider 5 seconds or less as a low latency as opposed to 25% which consider 1 second or less as the ideal threshold. So we can see that even within members of a specific group that is uh, capable of dealing with uh, types of uh, subjects such as this, uh, the notion of low latency greatly differs. And even latency can adopt uh, multiple forms within streaming sessions based on their current uh, context and the source from its origin. Uh, for example, we can have a delayed content delivery um, in any streaming session which can originate from any of the elements within a streaming workflow. We can also have the view switching latency which is particularly relevant in multi-view scenarios and which depends on tracking capabilities, view switching uh, procedures and other aspects. And finally, we can have punctual playback interruptions, uh, which are unpredictable, which can arise from the, the computing capabilities, from the content delivery, or from any other aspect that might occur during one of those streaming sessions. Immersive experiences from multimedia streaming have presented us with numerous challenges throughout the years, mainly due to the resources and the need for the specialized equipment that is required for this type of experiences. However, multi-view solutions have enabled us to deliver personalized content to the user based on their selections and interests and using cost-effective hardware coupled with ad-tracking devices. However, even within this field, there are still some topics that require further work. How can we optimize the navigation interactivity and indicate the selection of new viewpoints in order to anticipate future selections? How can we adapt existing standards to multi-view scenarios? 
uh, what is the best compromise between buffering size, content segmentation, and perceived loss in order to maintain constant delivery and avoid unnecessary latency when dealing with multi-view content. So the main goal for our, our research work was to minimize the latency when switching between views while also maintaining the best quality possible to be delivered to the user. To address all of these challenges and increase the quality of experience, we have proposed SmoothMV, a new multi-view streaming system with non-intrusive technologies, uh, which incorporates a new intelligent view management system under the form of the hot and cold matrix, which allows automatic uh, translation from the ad positioning from the user into actual video perspective selection. Um, this allowing a dynamic view stream selection on the fly in multi-view scenarios. This is accomplished using the standard MPEG dash, um, to which we propose an extension under the form of a new view model to enable this dynamic view identification uh, process. SmoothMV is composed by the client core with the uh, end user tags, such, such as the head tracking and content playback, and also the server core, which has encoding and post processing tasks, handling of user requests, and content delivery. The main contribution from this work, the hot and cold matrix concept, is essential to allow us to infer the next viewing perspective that might be selected by the user in the near future, and thus uh, allowing us to preemptively buffer and deliver it uh, in order to minimize any expected view switching latency that might occur during the playback session. And for this purpose, uh, and through conducted experiments, we have identified three main regions that are essential for this objective. Uh, we have the central region, also known as the inactive stage, where no view switching and view requests might be issued by the user. And then we have the, um, the intermediate and peripheral regions, also known as the buffering and switching stages where view requests might be issued by the user. And some premises were also established beforehand based on the experimental data that uh, any switching of viewing perspective is executed only on the peripheral regions and the system will buffer any, uh, any expected view to be requested by the users on the buffering uh, stages. And after the view switching procedure is concluded, the system will go back into the central region or also known as the inactive stage. And all of this ad tracking data is collected by the system uh, by, through the Intel RealSense uh, equipment and framework, where the ad post data is translated from the 3D space into the uh, 2D coordinate space, uh, consider aspects such as distortion, center calibration, and variable field of view. In order to describe the ad position from the user and translate this information into an actual viewing interest within the uh, hot and cold matrix, we are using the euro angles and um, these are captured by the Intel RealSense camera that is used with SmoothMV and allow us to describe the orientation of a fixed body uh, into a coordinate system by using a sequence of three rotations that are translated into three rotation matrices. So by combining this type of information with positional data from the X, Y, and Z axis, we can actually accurately pinpoint the position from the user within a 3D space and its viewing interest within the hot and cold matrix and translate this into an actual view selection within the smooth MV multi-view system. Regarding the MPEG dash standard, uh, which is used by SmoothMV for content delivery, 
In its original form, it only allows us to deliver a single view with multiple degrees of content quality. Uh, its amendment, the spatial representation description, introduces the tile based uh, approach, which is tailored for HMD devices and enables us to deliver main regions in high quality and peripheral regions in lower quality. However, if we take into account both MPEG Dash and MPEG Dash SRD, we can see that none of them are capable of fulfilling the needs from multi view streaming scenarios. Uh, in particular, the need to correlate to identify the multiple views that are available within this type of scenarios. And for this purpose, uh, SmoothMV has delivered the best of both roles by combining the intelligent uh, view management system, uh, the new descriptor format and the hot and cold matrix. And this has provided us with the means to dynamically identify a view and select a new view on the fly and maintain full compatibility with the MPEG Dash standard. The overall real-time view switching procedure implemented in SmoothMV uh, follows a simple set of guidelines in order to optimize the latency during the view switching procedure. So before any content is played on the end user, a predefined set of segments is downloaded beforehand. And after content playback is started, Based on the current timing of uh, the playback and uh, at position in front of the user within the hot and cold matrix, a set of segments can be continuously downloaded from one single view if no peripheral view is requested or from two views in separate queues, the buffer queue and playback if a view request might be issued by the user. So if this uh, view request is effectively issued by the user, the system can act accordingly, uh, react to the, the region of interest from the user within that specific view and change what the view that is being played back in real time. To evaluate the overall performance from SmoothMV and particularly the latency when switching between views, uh, we prepared two videos uh, with a specific resolution 3840 by 2048 pixels, uh, from which we extracted uh, six contiguous views uh, with a resolution of 1280 by 1024 pixels in order to prepare and fulfill the cube map projection requirements from this uh, multi-view system. These videos were encoded with HEVC uh, and uh, multiple representations were also obtained with various bit rates for each video and both of these videos were also subjected to segmentation according to the main profile from MPEG Dash. Uh, the representation data was then merged into a single file and additional file, the view model descriptor, were also created for each view in order to correlate the relations between all of these views. Automated experiments were designed for the evaluation of the performance from the SmoothMV system and also the hot and cold matrix, while also assessing the system performance in regards of uh, uh, smooth navigation and view transitioning. For this purpose, we devised 112 tests with specific duration and view switching procedures. In order to evaluate the impact of buffering during these uh, experiments, we uh, uh, presented a clear activation and deactivation of the buffering functionalities. And we also used various segment durations for these experiments from 33 milliseconds to 10 seconds. As for the buffer size, a common baseline was used with three segments, uh, with a sole exception being the 33 milliseconds segment duration, uh, where 50 segments were used in order to provide the best quality of experience. The latency performance from SmoothMV was uh, determined through an average latency score using the top three best and worst latency results for each condition. These results were gathered by using the video footage that was collected throughout testing. And the experimental results have shown us that buffering always improved latency regardless of the segment size and the conditions that were used during the experimental uh, setup. 
And the best average latency results that we obtained were in fact with a segment duration set at 33 milliseconds and the minimum value of latency was uh, obtained with buffering activated and segment duration defined as 100 milliseconds. And above this threshold, latency always increased to a point where the quality of the experience was uh, very reduced and was impossible to maintain a good interactivity. Um, regarding the accuracy regarding video selection and playback without artifacts, SmoothMV delivered all of this without any faults. From these experimental results, we can conclude that the hot and cold matrix concept is valid and assists the system in selecting the next appropriate view and reduce the view switching latency that was observed. However, there are still some work needed on this last topic and for this purpose we are uh, currently implementing a recurrent attention model uh, which is based on the CNN uh, model uh, in order to reduce the latency and correct any erratic user behavior. Uh, for this purpose, we are using a uh, data set that's currently being built from an existing 360 degree data set and it's prepared for this purpose in order to train and test the model. However, we also want to build a new data set with uh, custom images that, were, that are going to be collected at NS in order to prepare a multi-view data set that can be used for this type of works in the future. For the research work that I have presented to you, we have used these references and some more that are presented on the final paper. Uh, so uh, feel free to uh, learn a bit more about these topics and read some of these references in order to learn uh, some of the details that are inherent to all of these uh, topics that I have presented to you. Thank you for your attention throughout this presentation. I really hope that you have liked it and feel free to ask me any questions regarding these uh, topics. And uh, you can also contact me to the provided email in order to clear out any doubts regarding this research work and the work that we conduct at INESC and uh, maybe collaborate in the near future. So I hope that I can hear from you in the near future and thank you again for your attention.